Hey guys, it's Ellen and it's Friday, so it's Floral Friday and we're painting some mums today. Super easy. Um, I show you how to do it with a filbert brush and a round brush with leaves, whatever. Step by step. I'm telling you, it's easy. A beginner can do this. So don't freak out and say you can't do it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Uh, also, please hit that bell notification button so that um, you know my tutorial's up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, exclusive tutorials, traceables, reference photos, and live stream on the top tier once a month along with a download from me. Uh, you can check it out up here. Boop. It's a place people go and support my channel, which I appreciate. So without further ado, let's get painting some mums. All right, guys, for this watercolor practice, I'll go over my supplies. I have, of course, water for my watercolor. <laughs> my paints, I'll go over them as I use them, and I have them in the description box. Paper towels for brushes, I'm going to be using... Princeton 8 Filbert Velvet Touch series and the Princeton 10 Round Neptune series. And I have a piece of 8 by 10 Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, I love this paper. So what's great about this small little Filbert brush, and I'll show you in a little scrap piece, is that it makes the perfect little edges for the mum petals. See? You want a little rounded edge and you pull it in and you get this perfect little petal. Um, so what I did is I mixed 50-50 like Quinacridone Magenta and Cadmium Yellow Deep. You get this nice pretty orange. Mix some more up. So there's the yellow and magenta. Let's get a little darker. Actually, I'm sorry. I think I did like 80, 20. <laughs> Something like that. Look at this nice orange here. I always like the many colors coming going at the same time. So I'll have another, put the orange over here and add some more yellow on that side. On this side, I'll add some more red, which is magenta. A little bit darker kind of have them all at the same time. And I'll mix up some greens. Um, I want some darker greens with the mums. So usually I do light green, but that Prussian blue and some yellow. Nice deep green. Fall. I add a little burnt umber to it. Gets it even darker. And we got a simple color palette, right? Just to start off to teach you about and I zoom in on this little scrap painting the mum. I take this paper away for now. So again, this little brush, because it's perfect for these petals, it has its oval shape, right? And when I hold it on its side, let me grab this orange and a little green was on my brush. Grab some more yellow, some magenta, more yellow. Okay, and some water. Yeah, I had some green They're still on my brush from mixing up that color, so I'm trying to get it off. Okay. You have it like this, but we're going to hold on its side and then push down. See? There's too much water there. See, it's just bubbling up. We don't want that. I'm going to go back in and add some more color. Okay. See? And you're just going to curving it, pulling it in, and you get the simple mum. Mum, 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 mum. Now, an orange one would have like a, maybe a little red center, right? The yellow ones have like a green center. Some of the purple ones have a yellow center. So it's kind of like a daisy with a lot of petals, you know? Just simple like that. Some people say, I can't do this. Yes, you can. So we're going to go back to our paper. And we're going to just wing this. Here we go. Zoom back out. <laughs> I like to just do real-time videos because I feel like it's almost like you're in the class with me. And that's how it works. So, again, ugh, see, I have a dirty brush. Get right into my paint. I don't know how that happened. I'll have to mix up some more paint. Not a problem. Yellow, magenta. 
Mm -hmm. Keep trying to get the right color. Adding some water. All right. It's almost similar. Maybe just a touch more magenta. There we go. Now, if you have too much water on your brush, I always say tap it on paper towel and take off the excess or whatever towel you have. So we're going to do a nice little, they come in clusters too. Mums come in clusters, right? So we'll just do some ones up here. We'll start off doing the petals. See? If you can see this. Kind of curving it. See how I'm going like this? Back in, curving it. Now I could have left a little space in the center and I didn't do that. We can do that with the next one. Let's do another one. See, curving it like that. Leave a little space. You want to tilt your paper. That's easier for you. Just like that. Again, curve, curve. So it's curving it together, curving together. And then here on the bottom, I'm doing short ones. You have to turn you have to turn your paper, do that, and keep that center open. Just like that. Those are a little more open. Let me have some more closed ones, little teeny ones. Those would just be on its side. You can do some more open ones that you can't see the inside of. So that's, you just go like that. Do, 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 do. And then we'll add the green ring a bit. Now it is just one color right now. We can go back in and add some of those deeper colors. So I have that medium orange, remember, I mix? Let's plop that in on the bottom, in the center here. Just like that. See, I'm just taking the tip of it on my brush, grabbing that darker color. You can even grab the even darker color, that red color. And go in here and add some of that. And I'm gonna go back and put some more of these mums because they come in like those, you know, when you buy them plants, planters. See, just going like this. this brush is great. It makes those rounded tip petals. Make some smaller ones. I'm not going to put the greens in just yet. Just when I'm going to see the center of it. Again. It's very therapeutic to do this, by the way. And then some smaller ones. You might see the center on this one. So I do a little dot. See? A little teeny half one. Again, do some more of these big clusters back here. And do some bigger ones down the front. We went through some bigger ones and smaller ones. You know, like you see the not open jet. I'm actually going to buy some mums to stick in front of my house. It's that time of year. And then we do some little teeny ones, just kind of peeking through. See? You just take your brush and go little teeny marks, similar to this, but just really small. See that? You might even do a cluster a couple of next to each other, and then maybe have a couple that are not. You see that? I just space that. I'm going to keep a nice space to it. It's nice to have little clusters, some small ones and then some medium ones. And then again, go back and grab your other tones. You can kind of bleed them in. This one just kind of stuck because it was already dry. It wasn't enough water. Bleed in some of that reddish orange. I think I'm going to mix up some of that light lime green and put that in the center of a red. So, real quick, cabin yellow deep, and peacock blue. Make a nice bright green. See that? Really pretty bright green. 
kind of put that when that's dry put that in the center okay so let's work on some of the um, the leaves I can still use this brush but I might switch to my where's my number eight Princeton Neptune so I got that darker green and connect oh that was a blend don't want to do that <laughs> if it's still wet don't try and connect it yet all right so we're going to connect just like that right the leaves for mums kind of like oak leaves so they'll be like wiggle 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 i know my sound effects are funny something like that so it has that I don't know how many prongs of open leaves but just wiggle like that then come in wiggle like that come in wiggle down go like that again or if you make life easier just kind of go Keep going like that. So once you have like it's almost like fingers, right? Once you have like the finger shapes, kind of look like that. Then go back in and add little edges to it. I can explain that in better terms. I don't know how to explain how it, it's kind of like fingers. And then you connect it, right? That's what those leaves look like. So I'm going to turn the paper. We go out and in, 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 like that. All right, then fill it in. See, it kind of looks like this fingers. And then connect some more paint. See that? That's the best explanation I can give. And not everyone was going to have this. So I'm going to have to mix up a lot of this paint. Some more Prussian blue. This paper really soaks it up, so you need a good amount. Yellow, brown, blue, more blue. It's a little bit darker, which is fine. Then you can start to put in some more stems. See, just connecting them. This one's a little bit darker, which is great. You can kind of bleed in the darker color. like that so again you can make those little for, for the small leaves just go like that like this and like that so push down push down again connecting and push down again and connecting so it's kind of like and then you round the, the tip of it that's how I do it I'll just add some more leaves and then for the flowers you're going to kind of do a little almost like a V filled in or like a triangle upside down triangle and then you connect it just like that oops it might have been too close so an upside down triangle right and connect it Connecting little stems. Now I'm going to have some rogue ones kind of bending here. Again, with these leaves, I'm just going to push it like that. I'm not going to make them perfect, like, I'm going to put some more leaves right in here. 
Now, really, there would be more clusters in here. They're really clustered together, mushed. So I'm gonna kind of give the illusion of that. Just gonna keep adding some more leaves. I'll go back in and I'm gonna add some more mums. Just adding some more stems. Just like that. Really just simple with the color. So I finished that. I'm going to go back in and take my other brush and add some more mums. So you see where the gaps are? When you go back in, you're like, okay, we need more gaps. Fill in some flowers. Could have done some, like, just rounded little buds. See, and then here, again, just keep putting in some more flowers. So it looks like more of a cluster of mums. I want to keep this simple and I'll do a little, a little one here. A rogue one. Maybe I'll do another rogue one out here. Right? Just keep putting in some of the orange. And then you can add in some of the deeper colors like I said on the edges on the bottom just to give it a little variety like this one up here see got that deeper red orange we gotta fill in the centers with the, the, that like green too just filling in the deeper orange but I really want to just keep this a simple tutorial just like mums they're simple <laughs> It's, you know, it doesn't have to be the perfect looking flower. I'll go back in and I'll fill in some more. And the cluster up here. And then you go back in and you add in your stems, right? So I can even just use this brush. The flowers that, the stems to the flowers that you just did, that you're missing stems. And just put in more stems, period. And then it will seem more like a cluster. You can add some leaves in there. Just fill in those. You don't want to fill in all the gaps. I mean, I'm trying to make it have a little air to it. Most likely, when you buy the mums, they come in those pots. You know, I'm gonna take some Prussian blue, and get in here and add a little more blue. Just taking the blue itself, a little brown, a little blue. Just gonna make some dark tones. Just you see the variety going in here. Just gonna pop that color. Take it go like that and put some veins in some of the leaves. But I got that Prussian blue with a little around I'm going underneath and vice versa you can grab that green add some of that green this bright green just kind of throw that bright green in some places just to pop it and you have your mom okay and then of course the green in the center if you have an open flower put that green in the center we don't have many open flowers. But really, you know, you just tweak it at this point. You're going to go in and you're going to add some, like I said, deeper red tones, reddish orange tones to some of your outliers <laughs> out here. And that's about it. You want to keep it simple and sweet, you know. I'll go back in here and add some tunes. Maybe have another crazy outlier out here. And then you grab your green. And 
Mm -hmm. That's it. That's really kind of it, guys. Just your little practice. Mum grabbing that black and the blue. Just trying to pop these ones back here a little bit. They seem a little sad. So you had some really deep green. Just connecting it right underneath where the mum flower is. Right? You can throw in a dark green leaf. And we'll just pop that even more. And then you just do the, like, the little triangle next to the unopened mum. And that's that. I'm going to put another stem. Ooh. All right, I don't want to fuss too much. It's kind of it. So there, I hope you enjoyed this Floral Friday practice. Um, this this brush is great. It's something to fun. I have a couple of tutorials with this filbert brush. Um, it's fun to brush to have, you know, only you have the basics, but then you got to add a couple of fun brushes. So the filbert brush is good to have. The round is just a basic brush. But the filbert are fun. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope you enjoy your Floral Friday practice. And, you know, have fun with it, guys. Take your time. Um, you know, don't get stressed out about it. And have a great weekend. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Oh, and please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, do that. And I'll check out my Patreon. Thank you. Bye.